I have to say, uh, Missy, that uh, I was out in my garage uh, all day the other day. That's and I might, I might as well have changed shirts like five times. <laughs> uh, but you get out and you get fit and you have fun doing it. And uh, there's bicyclists and hiking. Yep. Uh, real quick before we get to what you're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would you tell people to like who want to go out? You, you, we encourage people to go out, right. get out and hike all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, besides like taking extra water and not hiking at the peak of the day. Yeah, the shade. I mean, like you mentioned, the shade is, is so much better. And also, I agree with the asphalt. I mean, you can fry an egg, literally fry an <laughs> right. egg. Right on asphalt and concrete so if you're on a, a dirt trail it is cooler you know like yeah. if you're out going to see the sunflowers or whatever there's you know some cooler ways to do it uh, a little shorter go up higher and go up to go Andrews higher. Bald or go cycling I'm talking about that today because I mean the wind flow with cycling I mean it can is it be, pretty nice even though it's it, hot out because I'm not much of a cyclist so yes it's um, I mean we did some biking last week um, and Shay, we went to Greenville South Carolina yeah. I got pictures of that too and along the, the new Swamp Rabbit Trail, right in the middle of Greenville, South Carolina, is a hot city. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Really? Um, that's because good. You, you know, if you're going 12, 15 or miles an hour. Oh, that's as fast got, as you go? I go well, 50. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Keep up with him. Uh, in but my anyway, car. But, but cycling is getting very popular, too. It is. And I think summertime is a great time to talk about it because it is a, little, a lot cooler cycling. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, USA Championships, cycling championships are here. Um, and, and that was, was really, that? that was so was that exciting. Cool? They say $6 million came into our city area because of events like that one. Wow. Uh, Stephen Bassett, congratulations, buddy. Second overall silver medalist from Knoxville. And Knoxville had quite a, a Paralympian in it. And another guy that works at the Y was in the top 10. But anyway. Um, That's cool. But there was a lot of people I saw out there, all different ages, that rode their bikes there. A lot of my friends that I bike with um, were there. That's some of the retired old men that I, I bike with. Um, we got out and went over to all the way from Bull Run over to um, Norris area. Um, oh, that's cool. And we go, you know, 8.30 in the morning. It's a little cooler, uh, a lot better. And then uh, my yeah. husband and I went out on some uh, bike ride out in, I guess it was Roan County area. We went another bike ride that you do around House Mountain, the roads around House Mountain. Uh, Foothills Parkway is just gorgeous, uh, a little hot, but I've got pictures coming up that um, my husband and I went to Greenville this weekend. Have you been to Greenville, South Carolina? I, I, I have. The I quickest had a buddy growing in Spartanburg, city yeah. in South Carolina. It's beautiful, isn't it? And they say one of the reasons why it's so, so popular is because of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. It's now 22 miles long one way and it goes right through there. It goes right through the heart of Greenville, South Carolina. Off-road or paved? It's paved. So we saw a lot of people walking, uh, biking. It's a nice little city. Uh, pretty shady, uh, many of the places, but uh, Greenville, South Carolina, they say that one of the reasons that it's doing so well is because they're getting a lot of tour tourism dollars coming in because of the Swamp Rabbit Greenway going right through the middle of the city. I mean, don't you think that's a sign of like other cities to be like, hey, listen, Copy this is down. working for them. Yeah, I, and I think you know. people are trying to get, I feel like the, the population is trying to become healthier, is mm -hmm. wanting to get out and exercise a little bit more and staying and, and being a little bit older to be able to do so as well. Right. I think the troublesome part about East Tennessee is A, the hills and B, it's, it's hard to ride on some of these roads. Right, and uh, we're doing better. Legacy Parks is doing a great job. Um, but anyway, it's I think get out there and try some cycling. Go to outdoornotsel.com to check it out. Awesome. Missy, thank you so much. Thanks, Mike. Hey, have a great day, okay? You too.